hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about the gauss elimination method in the subject of m1 basically i'll be explaining you two problems about gauss elimination method one problem in this video and the other problem in the other video okay in this video we are going to see a question with three variables next we will see a question with uh, four variables okay so Gauss elimination method is very simple. For this also you need echelon form only. Okay. So first what you have to do is I'll explain you step by step. I'm not get telling you any theory about this. First express it in the form of AX is equal to B. Okay. So A is 3 coefficient matrix 3 1 2. Next 2 minus 3 minus 1. Next 1 2 1. 1 2 1 x is the variable x y z right z is equal to b 3 minus 3 and 4 the constant matrix we have written this the next step is to write the augmented matrix so is nothing but a b so a b is 3 1 2 3 a b combined you have to write 2 minus 3 minus 1 and minus 3 1 2 1 4 we have written the augmented matrix now what we have to do we have to uh, bring it to echelon form echelon form means first you need to identify the diagonal so below diagonal all the elements should be made zeros but for that first what you have to do is you need to apply row operation on this that is the first row first element should be one if it is one it will be convenient for us okay so what we will do in echelon form only row operations we should do we are not supposed to do the column operations right so that's why you cannot interchange c1 and c2 what you have to do you need to interchange r1 and r3 so that this one will come here okay so let us apply the operation r1 r3 are interchanged so what will become r1 will become r3 which is 1 2 1 4 next r2 as it is r3 this one 3 1 2 3 okay na next now we can do the row operations so which operation we will do our target is to make these two elements zero see this is the diagonal we should make these two elements zero first simple r2 will become r2 minus 2 r1 because 2 minus 2 is zero and 3 minus 3 is zero so r3 will become r3 minus 3 r1 okay what you will get let us see r1 as it is you have to write so you will get 1 2 1 4 next r2 minus r1 2 minus 2 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 2 2 right 0 right next minus 3 minus 2 into 2 minus 3 minus 4 it will become minus 7 next minus 1 minus 2 into 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 you will get next minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 into 4 minus 3 minus 8 minus 11 you will get next r3 r3 minus r1 3 minus 3 0 1 minus 2 into 3 which is nothing but 1 minus 6 which is minus 5 next 2 minus wait 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 are we doing it correct yes 2 minus 3 into 1 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 right next 3 minus 2 into 4 3 minus 8 sorry sorry 3 right so 3 minus 3 into 4 3 minus 12 which is minus 9 minus 9 okay now again diagonal sorry this is the diagonal and minus 5 should be made 0 if minus 5 is made 0 we are done with the problem how do you make minus 5 as 0 you don't have 1 here or you don't have anything common with 5 here so what you can do is 
you will be applying the operation like r3 will become 7 r3 minus 5 r2 7 will be multiplied to this and 5 will be multiplied to this you need to see the lcm of both of them and multiply so what you will get these two rows as it is 1 2 1 4 0 minus 7 minus 3 minus 11 and see what happens to this one careful so this is 0 minus 0 however 7 r3 which is 7 into minus 5 minus 5 r2 5 into minus 7 minus 35 plus 35 0 okay next 7 r3 7 into minus 1 minus 5 into minus 3 minus 7 plus 15 you will get 8 next 7 r3 7 into minus 9 minus 5 into minus 11 minus 63 plus 55 you will get minus 8 okay so this is r3 now see the diagonal this is the diagonal and all the elements below the diagonal are 0 so done we got the echelon form once you got the echelon form you can stop the row operations now what you have to do row operations we stopped okay then now what to do you need to form the equations now forming the equations in the sense from the reverse direction you have to form the equation that is here we don't have x we don't have y 8 z is equal to minus 8 this is equation 1 next second equation we don't have x here 0x so minus 7y minus 3z is equal to minus 11 this is equation 2 next this x plus 2y plus z is equal to 4 equation number 3 okay so from this equation what you will get z is equal to minus 8 by 8 which is minus 1 so z is equal to minus 1 you got substitute this in equation 2 then what you will get minus 7y minus 3 into minus 1 is equal to minus 11 minus 7y plus 3 is equal to minus 11 which is nothing but minus 7y is equal to minus 11 minus 3 this this 3 comes this side minus 7y is equal to minus 14 minus minus cancel 7 ones are 7 twos are so y is equal to 2 we got okay now substitute z and y in equation 3 so that you will get the value of x so x plus 2 into in equation 3 from equation 3 2 into how much 2 z is minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 4 x plus 4 minus 1 is equal to 4 x plus 3 is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 minus 3 which is nothing but x is equal to 1 okay so now what are the values you got x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 z is equal to minus 1 these are the values we got okay this is how you do the cause elimination wait let me check x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to 2 z minus 1 yes correct so this is how you solve gauss elimination method simple you need to first write ax is equal to b from that write the augmented matrix from that get the echelon form once you get the echelon form form the equations solve those equations you will get the values for x y z gauss elimination also is very 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 important concept okay so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic if you are having any suggestions for me like explain more speed or with more speed or you, you know l lower your speed like that if you are having any suggestions let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear or try to improve and if you are having any doubts also let me know so i'll explain one more problem also about gauss elimination which is having four variables thanks for watching the video <laughs>